Okay, so. <laughs> um, yeah, Miriam and I, we want to welcome you very much to this session. Um, and well, as you probably know, it's part of the International Dragon Dreaming Con Festival. And we are really, really happy that we are now 13 countries participating from all over the world um, with, with this con, con festival. And the purpose of this gathering is that we want to help each other and we want to get, come, uh, get connected with each other and yeah, somehow move forward without leaving anyone behind and head for what Joanna Macy and John Croft and many other people call the great turning. That means that we that we change ourselves and how we how we are together, how we cooperate. And of course, we want to change the world outside <laughs> and try to make it a better, better place. And yeah, this Con Festival is organized by Dragon Dreamers and for Dragon Dreamers. And we hope that this session can enhance the entire schedule a little bit. <laughs> and this session is about our songline, our collective songline we have with Dragon Dreaming. And in the next one and a half hours, we want to reflect together and collect stories and exchange stories and, well, make a long virtual songline that can be exhibited after the session. So it's what we what we create in the session. It's going to to stay. Um, for others to have a look up on, or maybe um, yeah, put some more stories on it. So it's a little bit like a, a story art, an ongoing story art project. <laughs> yeah. And we will guide you through this process. It's, it's, um, it's a little bit like the songline um, exercise, you know, from John, which we do usually on our own, and we will do it together. Um, in con uh, concern and in correlation to Dragon Dreaming. Yeah, and my name is Ilona. I'm from Hamburg in Germany, and I'm Dragon Dreaming trainer since 2013. And I'm really uh, honored and happy to host this session together with Miriam. Mm -hmm. Miriam, do you want to say something about yourself? Yeah, just short words. I'm Miriam, and I'm close. I'm I'm coming from close to Munich, also in Germany. And yeah, I fell in love with Dragon Dreaming in yeah, two years ago, 2020, when I was doing the intensive course and the Train the Trainer course in the Eco Village in Siebenlinden in Germany. Yeah, and before we start, we would love to, to do a little um, yeah, deep listening embodiment exercise. So, uh, Caroline, you can maybe just look how you want to move in bed, and uh, any, any, everyone can see how much he or she wants to move. You can stand up and really move from the bottom to the to a, to a standing position and back down to the earth if you want to. But you can also sit on your chair and maybe move with your arms or bound your head or yeah, curl your your spine or whatever you feel like. And I want to start by ringing my bell <laughs> and then guide you through a little pinakari and embodiment exercise. So let's start. And if you want, you can close the eye, eyes, but that's not necessary. So find a comfortable position for yourself, good position for your dear body, and calm down and start to, to pay attention to your breath as the air flows in your, into your lungs and then back out again into the world.
And you can feel how the tension of your muscles loose and you feel relaxed. And this little voice in your head stops for a moment. And then bring your attention to the middle of your body, to your hara. And feel how it feels like when you when you get in connection to dragon dreaming and your experiences, your stories, your feelings you have in concern of dragon dreaming. And every emotion is welcome. There are not, not some, such things like bad or good feelings. And then let this feeling expand and fill up your whole body. Let's feel how it floods your legs and your arms, your feet and your hands, your fingers, your shoulders, your spine. And let follow your body and see what your body wants to express when you, you follow this feeling, this connection to dragon dreaming. Does your body want to move? Or does it want to go into a certain position? And don't try to express something like a figure or a statue or something like that. No, just follow the feeling in your body and see what your body wants to do. Don't be in your head, just in your body. Maybe there's a certain position where you want to stop and where you want to explore how that feels to be in that position. Maybe it's exhausting or it's relaxing. It gives you some kind of power or a feeling of sadness or a feeling of joy. What is it? What kind of feeling or emotion does it strengthen Maybe after a few seconds, you explore that position and maybe your body wants to move on and find another position. And again, explore this position, the second one. How does it feel?
What presence does it, does it give you? And again, if your body says, tells you that you want to move in a third position, let's do that. Otherwise, just stay in your position or do whatever feels good for you. And then move back into this relaxed position you had in the beginning. Sit upright, and place your feet on the ground or snuggle in your bed or whatever feels good for you. And follow your breath again. Feel how the air is passing your nostrils and that the air that you breathe in is a little bit more colder than the air that you are breathing out. Then maybe you want to move a little bit your shoulders and relax your, your shoulders or, and open your eyes slowly and come back to the room. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I hand over to you, Miriam, for the check-in. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Ilona. <laughs> and to get a feeling and the image of who is here in this virtual circle with us, we're going to invite you in breakout rooms of two persons um, for sharing and to chat a little bit with each other. We got more or less like 10 minutes that you can talk together. And we got a few guiding questions that will give you inspiration of what, yeah, what kind of chatting you can do. Um, I'm gonna post the questions in the chat just to um, let you know what this is. It's like, what's your name and where are you right now? Where are you living? And then I really like the, the metaphor of a tree. So spoken in, in a compared comparison of the image of a tree, in what kind of stage or in which stage are you compared uh, um, with the tree regarding to dragon dreaming? So perhaps you just a small seed in the earth who wants to break out through the light or you're feeling like a small plant that is starting to grow roots or feeling really like solid, like an old tree that is already sharing his fruits with others. So you can share with the other person in which kind of state you are in this tree metaphor. Um, or, and if you want, you can also tell the other one, like we're speaking in, in trees and animals, which kind of animal you're feeling today and why are you this in this state? So I will post um, the questions in the chat, as you can see in a second. And then we're gonna form 
breakout rooms. Okay. Okay, you ready? Okay. And then Okay, see you in a while. Now that is understand. So, okay. Yeah, welcome back in the big circle. I hope that you got a feeling of the people you were talking about now and that you landed in the small circles and in the big circle. Yes, and um, I would like to let you know how the agenda looks like briefly. Um, I post it into the chat. So first of all, our idea is that I will guide you through a process of journaling. So you have the opportunity to sit on your computer or wherever you sit and um, get in a self-reflective mode and maybe get in the state of authentic communication. And I guide you through this, um, through this process with a, with a couple of, of questions. That reminds you on the exercise on the songwriting exercise from John, <laughs> and yeah, and you, you can you can write down the answers. So if you sit on a computer and you can easily type on your uh, on your computer, that would be um, a good thing. Or you can write it down with a pen and a, a piece of paper, or how you whatever you prefer. And then after this silent. Um, the silent journaling. Um, you come in. Uh, you come together in fours, in a, in breakout sessions again, and there you can share your your um, your stories, what you what you noted down during the journaling um, phase, and then I show you how you can put together all that, all these several um, stories, how you can put that together in a Padlet. That's an online tool where everyone can post. Um, yeah, little post-its into a timeline and there we can collect our, our stories in a, in a sequel, in a temporary sequel. And then when we are through in force, we come together in the whole circle and there we share our highlights. And we go through the, the song line step by step and see what highlights we have, what outstanding stories there are that we want to share. And then we had a, uh, have a checkout and that's it. <laughs> and I hope we can make it until 3.30. <laughs> it's a really, it's a little bit tight the time, but that's always the case, I tell myself. <laughs> so do you have any questions or comments or? Um, so just Ilona, just to go over. So you will give us some guiding questions and we can journal either on the computer or on the paper. Mm -hmm. Uh, just so we'll do it on our own mm -hmm. and then we will post it on the board and share. Then you come together in breakout rooms with four people and there you, 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 you talk about what you have written, what you think is interesting and then together you can put it on the timeline. Okay. In this um, groups of four. Mm -hmm. And Thank then you. after that we come together in the whole group and then we have a look at the song line and we yeah, we share our, uh, our stories, the highlights. And about how much time will we have for individual writing? Or you don't know. For the journaling or what, what do you Yeah, mean? for journaling. Um, let me see. I think it's like 20 minutes or so, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, are you ready? 
<laughs> okay, so let me. I will ring my bell again. <laughs> so make yourself comfortable. If you want to switch off your camera, you can, so that you don't feel <laughs> observed. That's maybe easier for you. And uh, just calm your, your breath and try to come in this focused, relaxed, not too rational state where you can write down the answers to the questions without thinking about it too much. Just let the, the words flow out of your, your fingers into the pen or your computer. Okay, let's start. What is your first memory with dragon dreaming? And what were the greatest highlights with Dragon Dreaming? So think about the experiences where you, you had this great feeling of connectedness, togetherness, love, doing the right thing, sense, or whatever. And what situation was that? And what's the story around that?
And what were your biggest blockages, your, the biggest dragons you met so far during a Dragon Dreaming project, or the biggest mistakes? And that can be one experience or two or three. And think about the story that goes with this experience or with this happening, with this situation. So don't stay in a theoretic or abstract level, but tell the concrete story, the concrete experience. Hello, Marilyn. Welcome in the middle of the session. Hello. <laughs> Just to give you a point where we are, we are doing some kind of journaling right now and Ilona is sharing the questions so you can just flow into the flow and see where it goes and yeah, find something to write down and then we will see where we are. Okay, where, can I, where can I find the question? Ilona will write it. Um, I asked the questions. We are all silent and everyone is writing on their own and I'm okay. asking questions and you just wait and listen to the next question. Okay, got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But Marilyn, they are in the chat, by the way. The previous question you can find in the chat. Uh, I arrived late, so the only thing I read is that we're in the middle of a journaling scene. Okay, there. Thank you. Sorry to disturb everyone. Okay, and the next question is, what were important turning points in your work with Dragon Dreamings? Like important ahas, or maybe, maybe some highlights or some blockages were also some important turning points, but why? Why was it? Or maybe it was something else. And what feelings did you have? Which people were involved? What's the story around it?
And our last question is, what is your biggest dream for the Dragon Dreaming community? So now the time is over for the journaling phase. Yeah, and Caroline, thanks for being with us and yeah, take care. <laughs> Hope to see you again soon. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. And someone else is new, Bolvar, a la Essentia. Is that a name? <laughs> Okay, if you would like to switch off your video, that would be fine, <laughs> because otherwise I have to talk to texts and images and that's a bit weird. <laughs> and um, now we are going um, on into breakout sessions again with, four, uh, with pairs of, uh, with people of four, uh, groups of four. And I would like, before we do so, I would like to share my screen to show you um, how we can do the song line. And unfortunately, I have to share the whole desktop because <laughs> Zoom doesn't offer me the right window. So here you can see the Padlet. We are posting the, the URL in the chat too. Just a second, I can do that. No, I can't do that. Okay, I do that um, in, a, in a minute. And here you see that Miriam and I, we already posted two memories. I posted a highlight here, my first Con Festival, Dragon Dreaming Con Festival in Siebenstein in Austria. I added a photo just to show you that this is possible. You don't have to add a photo. And I added a little text here um, to, to tell you a little bit about the story that we were sitting under this magic old tree and we had this power of this magic tree and we were sitting there meditating and then doing this exercise this process where you together write the the, the intent of of the intention of the project in one sentence and it worked really great so this is one of my first memories with dragon dreaming or oh, one of my highlights that's it and miriam um, already uh, also shared a first memory um, and we would like to ask you to first 
put in here um, the, the, the month and the year, like nine is September and 2017 is the year. And then what it is, is it a highlight or is it a blockage? Is it, is it a first memory or is it your dream? And you can easily put in a, um, a new knot into our song line um, by clicking on this plus sign. And then you have here, you can here write into like, uh, one of my highlights is this wonderful session during the Con Festival where we did this great song line. Con Festival 2022. And then you have here, down here, you can write something and you can um, add um, um, images or anything, or you can add a link or whatever you like, but you don't have to do that. That's um, not necessary. Il Ilona, so it's just it only important is to put in the chronological order, like, or? Yes, or just, so yeah. you, you, that's, that's not important. Maybe as you can see, you have here this little, I said this card. You have here this little plus, and here, so you can you can choose where in the song line you want to add a little note. Huh? Okay. But also, when you see, oh, that's not the right order, then you can drag this. Oops, you should drag. Be able to drag it. No. Uh, you should be able to drag these knots and change their position. I don't know. And it's so like oh, yeah, just... yeah, like this. You see? Yeah. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we, we're just going to be working on our own uh, song line, right? Without, no, right? no, we have, a, we ha now we have this huge song line together. And as you oh, can okay. see, there's my memory, like my highlight, and then there comes, and we, we, we work chrono chronologically, like okay. um, June 2013 is before September 2017. Mm -hmm. And maybe you have a highlight or a blockage that is in 2015. So you would click on the plus in the middle or you have a first memory that's in 2009. So you would click on the left side of 2013 like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, cool. Mm. Also, you are together in fourth in the, in the um, in the breakout rooms. So my recommendation would be that you share your, your stories like we share dreams in a dream circle. So that not one starts and then he tells all his, he or her tells all he, her or his stories, but that you go in, circle, in, a, in a circle and first maybe you, um, Georg tells his story, then Alice um, proceeds and tells her story and then Isab goes on and tells her story. And you, by telling your story, you also add a, a, um, a further note into the song line. And maybe there's one person in your group who's very, very uh, uh, comfortable with this digital tools and another person is not so very comfortable. And so you can help um, each other to, to make that. Would that be okay? Yeah. Does anyone have any question or remark or <laughs> whatever wish? If, if we get stuck, can we send our thought to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can ask for us. And maybe Miriam and I, we will go through the groups and just see how it works. And if you have any questions. So we thought that we would do that until uh, 10 minutes after three, well, that's a bit ambitious, <laughs> I think. So we would, I, th I would suggest that we do it until 3.15. So we, you would have 18 minutes to do so. And just try, and the song line will be there after the session too. So you can, you have lots of time to, to add your notes if you want. You don't have to be, uh, you don't have to worry that you don't finish or something like that. Okay. So let me do the breakout sessions. Ah, you did it already, Miriam. Great. Do you want to start them? Yeah. But I can see Martin is in, in room two. I put him in room three. Okay, that should work. 
Am I right, Miriam? I think so. Okay. We try? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, Fairy Anne, how are you? Do you have trouble to get into the breakout rooms or do you want to stay here? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> jetzt sind halt, also es sind jetzt drei bis vier Leute, passt auch. Okay, yeah, welcome back in the big group again. Yeah, thanks for posting. Okay, okay, welcome back. I can see a lot of posts already in our Dragon Dreaming song line and personal uh, group memories. Um, um, I can I can't see the posts in the in the chat screen maybe yeah yes again okay ah, yeah, okay ah, war ich gerade woanders oh, yeah. um, one moment oh. okay now Okay, so there are a lot of personal memories and also group memories that form our big dragon dreaming song line and to hear each other and connect with each other and our memories. I want to invite everyone to pick his or her favorite highlight. So one one favorite highlight of your own post to share with the others. Um, so you can take a little moment to scroll through the song line again and choose the highlight you want to share. And whoever feels to begin is, is welcome to, to begin to speak and share. And yeah, I can, I can scroll to the highlight uh, so we can all see it together when the person's speaking. Okay, Daniela. Okay, yeah, I will. Uh, hello, so you can see me. Mm -hmm. uh, I I was just uh, writing down the the highlight you see at the end now, without scrolling, uh, and I was just telling the the people in my group that for me it was a really nice experience to. Uh, doing my my training, my dragon dream as a, to become a trainer, uh, I made an empowered training, uh, and I organized my training myself. Um, and I'm, but the the main thing about it is that I make a celebration of all the projects that I was involved in, and uh, what I've learned about those projects, the good and the bad ones, because I saw one failure over there that I was written and I was laughing. Uh, it was Ilona's failure. I said, I have a lot of those too. <laughs> so that's how, how I remembered uh, that empowered training and that celebration for of all the projects. And that was really nice uh, thing to do for me. Mm. Thank you.
Hi, I want to share. I'm sorry because I just feel like kind of writing. I, um, it was kind of hard to like talk and write at the same time in our group because the conversation was very interesting. So I'm just adding now. But I first of all, I want to say I really appreciate that. I'm kind of excited about this song line and what everything you created is really wonderful. Um, I would like to share it with my group, um, my Dragon Dreaming in New York, if it's available. And uh, in our conversation, what was interesting for me, like, like, um, I think, um, well, first of all, I want to celebrate Pooja. She's from India. She's a young person uh, who is doing college kind of in self-directed way in India, which is a huge thing. And this is her first experience in Dragon Dreaming. So I just want to celebrate her together. And she learned about it from her mother. And um, I think she's still like orienting herself what it's about. But what I loved about her sharing is that she was sharing about her life as a project. And she was sharing about her struggle as finding like homeschooling in India and her dreams. And I feel like there's so much connected to like dream dreaming. And, uh, and then it inspired me to dream about like my dream about a dragon dreaming community is that well, we actually feel and create more connections and more ways to support each other practical and unpractical ways and then i'm dreaming of a really big uh con festival in person in uh in a beautiful place in nature and the the year that came to me was 2024 and then martin who is also was in my group he mentioned that he, you know, he imagines that this can happen in Slovakia because it's cheap there and it's beautiful. And, and I feel like, and I'm just really excited about it. But then Puja inspired me to also add to my dream that I'm imagining or dreaming of more young people like her and even younger, like children, um, finding a way to drag and dreaming and us uh, finding a way to make it fun for little, for little people. And so that it becomes, um, and then they become dragon dreamers too. And well, one thing and one big aha, I think that uh, Martin also mentioned, and you're like welcome to add to this. And for me too, from our group was, um, it was both the challenging point, the block and then aha, is the importance like, and then really, the experience of trusting the process of trusting that the energy of the project is bigger than us because in our new york team we were stuck um in the in winter of 2019 when covid happened we're we're planning a, a workshop very first workshop in new york city and we we're all very excited about it and then we didn't know what to do about it because everything closed and we kind of stopped and went to sleep the whole winter and my personal dragon was, oh, okay, well, that's the end of all of everything <laughs> kind of thing. But the spring came and then solution kind of came on its own. Um, this wonderful dragon gymming facilitator, Ravi, that maybe some of you know, he came to us and we hosted a very first dragon gymming workshop on Zoom that he developed um, and it happened. So that's what I wanted to share about our journey. Thank you. I want to share a highlight I didn't tell so far, and neither in the small group um but i want to post because it was really one of the highlights um the first festival con festival i remember but then i think i also attended the festival the con festival in um siebenstein which you mentioned i think i have been there just for one day or just to visit for one day or, but i didn't remember that it was a con festival i remember the con festival in the north of germany um in a small co-housing project somewhere in the middle of nowhere close to the north sea it's klein um, 
Yeah, Klein Hunloff, <laughs> that's what that's the name. And uh, someone came to the train station and uh, fetched us up with a um, horse carrier. I don't know if that's the right word, a, a kutsche. Um, and we arrived there as a bigger group and everything was so vivid there. It, I don't know. And, and so organically developing, um, we had so many different sessions and I enjoyed it so much um, to be there and to, to share my knowledge and to learn from others. It was really, yeah, it was beautiful and all in, in this beautiful nature up there. Yeah. I need to post it and I need to search for a picture as well, if I have one. That sounds nice with the horse carriage. <laughs> Um, Alice, you also wanted to share something. So we cannot hear you yet. Or perhaps someone else wants to share first. Perhaps there are technical problems. Hello, I can share. I got it. Oh, oh. I'll be quick. You can come back in, yeah, later. in a second. I I am uh, uh, I'm working with a, a with a small subsistence farming community in northern Pampion, and I uh, gave a, a farmer there instructions on dragon dreaming, and it's 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 so uh, such a precious such a, a, a precious uh, way of dealing dragon dreaming allows such a precious way of dealing with everybody and this man is is working on a project without having uh getting uh, supplements or subsidies from anybody else in the world he's 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 continuing on a project on uh on community farmland in northern Tampion and dragon dreaming is part of it and i'm just really so happy that I learned the tools um, from Lysandra last year. Yeah, that's it. Okay, is there space still? Yeah, I think Marilyn wanted to say something first, right? Sorry, I'm not in, please Marilyn go. Hello, can me? Yeah. Hello. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. For my share, uh, I joined the uh, Dragon Dreaming. I mean, I got introduced to Dragon Dreaming last year when I joined the online Eco Village Design Education course, uh, facilitated by or hosted by Global Eco Village Network or Gen. That was in April seventeen to August one, twenty twenty one, and we used Dragon Dreaming. Um, to do our group project. We are 10 members in our design group and we came up with an education related uh, project. We, we reached the concept stage due to the short time period. We didn't get to implementation, but our concept has been documented in a WordPress site, which I'll put later. But uh, my highlight really is the insight on the fourth stage of Dragon Dreaming, which is uh, celebration. Because me coming from a Filipino Chinese uh, and traditional Chinese ethnicity type of uh, background, um, we're not so big with celebrating our wins. And so um, we keep on working, 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 but then we don't get to celebrate. So it's like, it's not very clear where we have, that we have achieved a milestone. And so I like this thing about uh, celebration. And the other thing is the insight uh, when we were doing our project, there's 10 of us in our group from different different parts of the world, my classmates are from we're all from different parts of the world, and um, and if it's not fun, it's not sustainable. 
So it came to a point where in at first we were having fun because it's we were relaxed, but then when deadline came and we still haven't uh put our act together for our project and we need to present, uh there was so much pressure and, and trying to figure out how to do the carbert and whatever. Uh, and, and how to do it online with different time zones. But then um later on somebody remind us reminded us that we needed to have fun. So we were able to inject fun and we were to, able to pull it through. And yeah. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and I think our last highlight, Martin, go for it. And then we have then we're heading to the checkout and uh, yeah. Okay, I will be short. I just yeah, my highlight was when I like discover the power of cows. Because it was two years ago, it was Lisandra and John here, and it came to the moment that. It was really chaotic and first time I, I was observing how they can be like so calm and for me was the power of this was that really to to be able to stand out because while we are part of the house that is true that we cannot really control it it's impossible to control the house but as I like step out of it and I was just observing I saw that there is amazing power in the house and if you see the right moment, it's like touching somebody, I don't know, on the ass and suddenly the house is built or amazing thing can happen with almost like no energy. So for me, this was like really like exciting when I see like this is possible because the same uh, thing if you want to do by organizing, it will cost you like fortune. But in the house, in the right moment, little reaction can really change the change the world. Almost. Yeah, just this. Yeah, thank you, Martin, for this um, yeah, input with the cows. <laughs> yeah, thanks to everybody, to you for sharing. It was beautiful to hear the memories and the highlights. And um, we all can invite you to fill the song line even further. Um, it will stay there where it is and also scroll through it and discover the stories of the other ones. And so after we celebrate it in a reflecting and sharing way now, we want to celebrate loud with you. It's a, it's a little funny dance the dragon thing. It's rather playing or dancing. And I'm going to share again so um you can stand up guys everybody has to stand up it's a little <laughs> bit yeah loud to celebrating needs space i guess <laughs> you now you can move like you want and yeah you will see So the video is called Dance the Dragon. Have fun. And you kind of... You can, you can move as the prince moves. That's the funny thing about it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So with this little exercise and energizer, we want to say thank you so, so much for being here with us and sharing your stories. And we would like to uh, pay attention to the next sessions in like 24 minutes. A session is starting um, with the title Connecting with Your Playfulness. And it's led by Nepu Frühlingsdorfer. And I think she's really a great Dragon Dreaming trainer. And I think that's going to be a really great session, connecting with your playfulness. And then in, uh, yeah, in an hour or so, there is a se session called My Life as a Project. How can we use Dragon Dreaming beyond teamwork by Valerie? And Valerie is also, she's from Russia, living in Berlin. And she's also a great Dragon Dreaming trainer. And I think this is really a good, um, good session too, because it shows you how you can use Dragon Dreaming for your personal development. Can I add something mm -hmm. about Valeria? I just met her here on, on Con Festival. I'm very happy because I identify as Russian. But, you know, I listened to her presentation in Russian. And one thing I can say was amazing how she's applying it like to her personal life. Mm -hmm. Like, and she's looking at her life as a project. I yeah. feel like it's pretty unique. So I highly recommend that. Oh, and also, I also want to recommend if you, if you go to her YouTube, she's an amazing poetess. Like the the poems she's creating are amazing, and she actually has a few with English subtitles you know, mm -hmm. as well because she writes in Russian. Okay, thank you very much. And the uh, third session I would like to recommend you is on uh, six thirty. This is in roughly two hours. Um, and it's called Financial Resources to Projects of Impact. Um, it's Kai Isemann who's leading the session. I don't know him, but it sounds interesting because financial resources are always important for everything we want to do. Kai, <laughs> everything. Kai has a Swiss, a Swiss organization and he wants, ah. to connect, he wants to connect alternative projects to big investment complexes in the States. That's his goal. Yeah, sounds so, very uh, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, okay. So he will, he will um, record his session, won't he? Because I can't be there. I have a, a meeting in the Wohn Project, but um, I would like to watch it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so. I'm not 100% yeah. sure, but I think so. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Ilona, can I have last questions yes. according to your playbook? Because I search for it, but I find it in German language only. But yeah. this is the only version or is it exists in English also? No, so far, this is the only version. And mm -hmm. yeah, we still have to figure find a English uh, in the English publishing house or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, so have fun, dance with your dragons, have big and huge dreams, and have the courage to follow them. It was so nice to see you, and hope I will, we'll see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Can I ask a question, a logistic yes. question? Yes, sure. Um, this will um, be recorded.